Grace and peace to everyone, grace and peace to you, and welcome to this another in the series that we're doing on the book of Hebrews. And we apologize for the late start. Hopefully, we'll be able to get through this evening because we are experiencing some very, very um, serious technical issues in relation to our internet connection. But let me say on from the outset, if we do not get through this evening, I will be pre-recording the remainder of the studies in this series so that they can be premiered right here on Facebook and so that you know you can get access to the Bible studies here. So once more, my name is Brother Sheflon Valentine of the Thusia Seventh-day Adventist Church. And before we go any further, let us begin with a word of prayer. Okay, so let us pray. I just want to make sure that every, everyone is hearing me clearly. Grace and peace, grace and peace, everybody. So let us begin with a word of prayer. Loving Father, thank you so much for helping us throughout uh, the past first day of this working week. We thank you for your love towards us, for the convictions of truth you've placed upon our hearts. And we pray for your convictions tonight. Remove from us all idol values. Grant us absolute humility before your throne. And help us, dear Father, as we understand these truths concerning the plan of salvation. Help us to accept the character of Christ in us so that we can have the divine nature to be saved from our sins. This I pray with much thanksgiving unto thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, brethren, so for those who are now coming on, uh, my name is Brother Sheflon Valentine from the Thusia Seventh day Adventist Church. We ha have been having some technical difficulties over the past few weeks, and we want to assure you that even if we encounter technical difficulties this evening, where the study is abruptly brought to an end because of internet issues we will be pre-recording these studies and posting them for your benefit by god's grace all right so what we're going to do we're going to continue mainly by looking at some charts we're going to continue looking at hebrews chapter 2 uh, we started looking at it last week and the topic as you can see there is jesus was also man in sinful flesh and we're going to focus in a bit on the fact that Jesus Christ had sinful human flesh. Jesus Christ had sinful human flesh. So please share this live. Please share the live. Um, and let persons as much as possible benefit from this evening's Bible study. All right. So let's get straight into the scriptures one time. There are some quotations that I also want to share with you. Something needs to be understood very early, even as we re-enter into the scriptures again. You will recall that last week, we began by seeing, in fact, Jesus Christ came in sinful human flesh. And we saw that by looking at Hebrews chapter 2. We are looking at Hebrews chapter 2 this evening, basically to wrap up this chapter with some additional scriptures as well as um as well as some quotations this understanding of the sinful flesh of Jesus Christ is so important because it is the true understanding concerning Yahweh in sinful human flesh that gives us the understanding of the incarnation and that makes it possible for us to be sin free, for us to be obedient to the commandments of God. Because the original attack against Yahweh was from Lucifer who wanted to be God with God. And one of his claims, one of his, one of his charges against Yahweh was that man cannot obey the commandments. He said very early that man could not be obedient to the Ten Commandments. 
And that was one of the charges that he brought against Yahweh. And what Yahweh did, in a very beautiful way, Yahweh proved that man can live sin free. Yahweh came in sinful human flesh. And the scripture describes his name as being Emmanuel, meaning God with us, an expression that is pregnant with truth, as you understand, as you read Sister White in the Desire of Ages also, that Yahweh himself came in sinful human flesh and bore a name that signified him being with us, Yahweh with us, Emmanuel. And so I want to share with you, continuing from last week, some, some scriptures right here in Hebrews chapter 2. So let's go back to Hebrews chapter 2 and let's look at verse 14. So we begin at verse 14. Here's what the Bible tells us. It says, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same. So Jesus Christ took part of the same flesh and blood like you and me. It means then that he had sinful human flesh because the scripture tells us that he partook of the flesh and blood of the children. When we read last week, we saw that the children are referring to the children of Adam, all of whom were born in sinful human flesh. So then, when the Bible tells us with a reference to the children that Jesus partook of the same flesh and blood as the children, it is simply telling us that he had the same flesh and blood like you and I. Now, let's look at Romans. So we're 